Holy presidential Batman. Obama is coming to legend, and we have Robert Palmer Watkins. Ooh, I was able to say all that here on the show today. It's CW Weekly. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Now we're up, and here we are. Okay, everybody, we're going. This is our, our music builds, Rob. You gotta let it build yeah. a little bit. There you go, he's got his oh, hair rocking. You. you know how to dance, look at that. And one, and two, two, let's Here we go. go. Ooh. All right, everybody, what's up? What's up? It's a Valentine's Day. Well, after CW Weekly. I'm gonna stop trying to sing so sing talk, sing That's talk. okay, I was seeing where you were going. I'm already yeah. at, That was what? good, actually. I was trying to Thank follow you. it. Yeah. Very that. good. <laughs> What is up, everybody? Welcome to CW Weekly. This is a show every week where we talk about what's going on in the CW universe. And today we have a very special guest that I'm going to announce after I say all of our names. <laughs> all right, so first of all, I'm Matt Marr, and you can find me at the Matt Marr, two T's, two R's. And today I have Erica here, and we have another special guest. Go ahead. Hey, guys, I'm Lucretia Lyon. I was with you guys a few weeks ago, but you probably know me because I do all the CWDC shows for at least the last few years. I'm Lucretia Lyon, so you can always find me at L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N anywhere on the Internet since there is only one. And I'm Erica Shannon. I don't have anything more to say than that, other than you can follow me on Twitter at Miss Airy Baby. And last but certainly not least, ladies, handsome no, nice. gentlemen, me, 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 Robert Palmer <laughs> Watkins. Hello. What's up? What's up? Thank welcome, you for welcome. being here. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Who goes by Rob? Inside Scoop. Just so you know, Rob is up today. Or Cupid. Or Cupid. Or yes, Cupid. from the new CWC show. Uh, Cupid's Match. I almost mm -hmm. said Robert's Cupid. That's not <laughs> no. the right name of the show. That's I, a different show. Oh. Cupid's Match. So see, and we've talked about CWC before on here, but just for people that need a heads up, that is the streaming app because that's where you can watch basically all the old shows that Erica loves are there mm -hmm. now. And so, Constantine is there, guys. And Constantine is there. So you can watch <laughs> it on your phone, your Apple TV, whatever. Just get it and watch it. And yeah, Cupid's Match. And we're going to talk about Cupid, yeah. but... First, we're going to dive in to our trivia and our ship poll. So let's talk about our trivia. And guess who our trivia is about this week? Hmm. Oh. It's about our guest, Robert Palmer Watkins. Oh, yeah. um, I feel like if I got drunk, I wouldn't be able to say your name three times. Robert Palmer Watkins. Robert Palmer Watkins. Robert Palmer Watkins. I'd just be like, hey, cute guy. Uh, so, okay, we want to know how well you know your life, okay? So without looking on the internet, because you can't because we're right here, what is the first listed IMDb credit that you have? Um, no, can't gosh, cheat. Can't uh, cheat. Is it? Is it? We're going to give you wait, multiple choice. Wait, the first as in? The first IMDb credit. When I went to IMDb. Yeah, but like first as in it's at the top of the billing? Oh, no, the, the first one from like years ago, Sugar. Oh, We're God. going back. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So what the multiple choice. Is it Frat House Musical, <laughs> which I want to see. Um, Virgins for Life. Okay. Was it Executive Protection or... Was it Gary's Guide to Getting Broken Up With? Now, don't say it just yet. Just because we're think saying it at the end it. of the show. Yeah. You well, got to yeah. think about it. Are you all got... of those on my IMDb? One might be something <laughs> I made up. <laughs> but I love that you don't know for sure. No, because yeah. the, the last one I'm a little skeptical about. <laughs> but I've done a lot of weird shit. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll definitely be getting into that. A we'll definitely later. be getting into the weird shit for sure. <laughs> so hold on to that, everybody, and you uh, at home now. If, uh, for our Twitter uh, Twitter fans, we have our Twitter poll going up, which was brought to you by a Twitter user. Because last week we did a poll of Buffy's relationships and what Buffy relationship do you like? And Bass makes games. Is that their name? I believe so. Yes. Bass makes games. Said, hey, what about Willow? And Oz, and so are Willow and Tara. Yeah. And I was like, well, let's just do a Willow. So that's what we did this week. So go ahead, Erica. So for our ship poll for this Who's week, canceled? that's not it. Our options are there's the yeah. ship coming there's in. The ship I coming was waiting in. for it. Choo choo chugga. Is it Willow and Oz, Willow and Tara, Willow and Kennedy, or just for funsies, Willow and Buffy? Not really. But. There's a lot of people ship you know, that. You know, I was really into Buffy, and I can't remember Kennedy at all. Well, that's because she was in season seven. That Like, I, I luckily, you blink and you miss it. There's some good episodes, and Nathan Fillion plays an evil priest, Caleb, 
and ba- gouges yeah, out Xander's eye, eye. That was really hot. That but was really like, hot. yeah, it was a blink and you miss it. She was a, sl- a potential slayer. And I will say, I did vote for Willow and Tara, but when I was younger, my screen name for AIM was Willow of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, I'm, right now, right now, Willow and Oz carrying yeah. it at 38%, but Willow and Buffy not, really? not doing too bad. Really? Oh, look at 24%. That. Hey, so, look at that. Good for them. Nobody likes Tara. I like Tara. Yeah, percent like, of people like Tara. Yeah, okay, I was okay, like, okay. I yeah, thought yeah, yeah. that they were the most popular relationship, nobody, so that surprised that, that's me. Yeah, that's what I thought too. There's some, there's some love for everybody. There's some love the for poll. everybody. So we're gonna talk. Rob, bear with us. We're gonna talk about some casting news oh, a little no, quickly. Great. Um, so, okay, so let's jump into it, Lucretia. Yeah, well, Arrow star um, Colton Haynes, who you may know was Roy Harper, who's speedy in the comics, but on the show, uh, Arsenal was one of his other character names, and I always forget I can nerd it up too much, so I'll quit talking. He wants to play Nightwing in the Chris McKay Nightwing movies. I think he's a good choice. I So far, I've seen Finn, Finn Whitrock be in the front running, and I really would like him. Um, but what you may notice that's the most important part of the Nightwing character, who is Dick Grayson, the original Robin, is his fantastic ass, and that is really what is it's, important. I'm so glad you brought this yeah. up. I'm, no, like, yeah. people think we're being funny. Rob, I don't know if you know, but it's actually a thing, like, in the canon of DC yeah. Comics, there's a famous sculpture. What's that Japanese sculpture guy who does a lot of D? I I don't remember. Yeah. Somebody can tell us in the chat. But he, like, did a thing at Comic-Con, and the big deal was everybody was like, oh, my God, that ass is beautiful. Because mm-hmm. not even, like, in the Batman... Arkham Asylum game, I yeah. freezed it on Nightwing's ass before and been like, Jesus. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so Nightwing has to have a really good butt. Well, Dick, super- that's a high compliment. Yeah. I think superheroes in general, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, it's true. Well, it's, like, when you get to draw a character perfectly, they usually, I mean, even Disney characters, they make yeah. the mm-hmm. boobs nice and, yeah. you know, everything's yeah. like. And Nightwing doesn't have a cape, so you can't cover oh. up his butt. Well, and so he's an actor rat, yeah. And he's an yeah. acrobat. I mean, yeah. it's like, have you seen the gym or the ice skater's asses? Yeah. On it's like, woo! Well, shit, I want to play Nightwing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, been, I think you I've could. Been, I've been working on yeah. my squad. Yeah. I think yeah. you could. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, you heard it here first, everybody. Um, yeah, hashtag Nightwing. I'll, I guess you I'll would, tag you instead <laughs> of throwing your hat in the ring, you throw your butt, butt in the ring. ring. I'll yeah. throw my butt right in the ring. Yeah. Come on. I have such bad gay DD right now. I can't even. I don't even know what's next. I don't even know what we're talking about. Where am I? I need a cigarette, and I don't even like to smoke. Um, okay, let's talk about. But oh wait, I do. Do you think? I don't think Colton Haynes is gonna get it because he's already in the DC. Yeah, and DC is right? really weird about people playing multiple characters. Marvel. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Chris Evans, most known for being Captain America, was the Human Torch. Well, Ryan Reynolds yeah. though. Ryan Reynolds played. Didn't he play two he, DC he characters? He played, um, yes. yeah, like he played uh, t- oh. DC and Marvel, so he oh, was Green yeah, Lantern yeah. Okay, and okay, DC. true, that was a different. And yeah, then he right. was Deadpool twice. Yeah, twice. Like, yeah, but in different In different weird yeah. times. Yeah, so I don't think he is either, but yeah. it would be nice. What I know. You think about it. But yeah, apparently, yeah, Colton tweeted it and yeah. everybody freaked out. It started over a tweet. So it's not even real news, it's just Colton Hayes probably was like, hey, I got a good butt. Yeah. That's he's like, I, I need something to he's do. He's throwing his butt in the ring, Rob. Yeah. That's what he was doing. Just got to hey, yeah. tweet, hashtag yeah. night tag, and, or night, night wing. Night, night, night tag. tag. Yeah. I've had a night tag. Brain is all over the and place. And it's been, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about uh, Barack Obama, who yeah. is apparently coming to Legends. What? Kind yeah. Kind of. Kind of. So, if you haven't seen Legends, it's a time traveling show. So, apparently, the Wave Rider is going to be doing a presidential visit. Well, they will be visiting Barack Obama, but it's going to be before he was president. Mm-hmm. So, we actually, it's going to be in Obama apparently during the 70s when he was at Occidental College, which is just outside of Los Angeles, actually. And you know what's funny about this episode? I'm pretty sure it's the same disco episode. And um, Katie Lotz and Maisie uh, Williams, who are Sarah and Maya, and Maya separately. And then, of course, the Ray, uh, Brandon Rouse's character, and uh, Nick Zano's character, um, Buns of Steel is how we refer to him. <laughs> <laughs> they do the disco video for this episode. It's really oh. cute. You can find it on Katie's Twitter, yeah. Well, and it's actually, uh, people don't, if you don't remember, this is not the first time they've done, who are they ever, George Lynn, Washington. There's a yeah. Reagan episode. And yeah. Lyndon B. Johnson. Yeah, so yeah. this is, th- that's kind of just something that, um, yeah, that Legends is always done. Yeah, they steal Reagan's jelly beans. 
But what I found <laughs> interesting is that it's the best show. they pointed out that on Earth One, there was no President Obama. So who oh, are they, they like did. the person that they're going back to see? Was he somehow? Did he so somehow become president? I don't or know. well, because Wonder Woman's just president meeting on a random Supergirl person. She is. Yeah. yeah. Did they huh. just meet a random Barack Obama somewhere? Or maybe they're. Yeah. You know what's interesting? You know I don't like to name drop, but <laughs> you don't. <laughs> we have a game. Every time I name drop, take a drink. So take a drink, sugars. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> but I my dry cleaning. I once was doing my dry cleaning by my place. It's right on clock. Splendid cl- cleaners, and I literally was getting my dry cleaning. I went, oh my god. That's Barack Obama. And it was a guy, and I wonder if they're going to use him. He's like 27 years old, but he's a Barack Obama impersonator. Oh. And he was he had just like came from a gig, and so they grayed his hair, but he could totally be a young, and I, young Obama. And I looked him up on YouTube, and I mean, it is dead on. Like, dead on, it sounds just like him, so I wonder if we'll see him. Maybe the, we'll see him. They're Maybe taping like now. The, the episode's supposed to air sometime in mm-hmm. April. So, um... So yeah, so yeah, and with the weird legends just started now on CW. So and now we have a Supergirl Brit. I don't know. It's yeah, legends so is confusing. in the place, so they don't have five nights of superhero yeah. stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, and it's, it's the weird. best one, guys. Watch it and mm. watch the after show here on Infra Buzz TV yes. Tuesday nights at eight p.m. There I'm you go. on there. Hashtag plug. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've got one more bit of casting news. It's about charm, so I wonder who's going to talk about it. I wonder. That would be me, because <laughs> I am the resident charmed info yes, you giver are. around here. So last week we mentioned the various characters that they're casting for on Charmed, and we now know that one of the characters, Galvin, who is playing Macy's boyfriend, has been casted. And his name is Sidarius Blaine. Can we have a picture? Yeah, we should. Um, Sidarius, you might know him if the name doesn't sound familiar, he played Fridge on the Nuji Munji. Okay. So he's Don't not, have a pick, actually. Sorry about that, everybody. He's but. not um, new to reboots, remakes. Okay. That life. Um, he was also, I recently, I just figured this out. He was also on Jane by Design, which was a show on Freeform oh, I that I was, that. like, into. So, <laughs> good for him. <laughs> he's been getting kind of a little bit of backlash on Twitter about it because there's this whole, like, hashtag stop charmed reboot going on. Like, there's yeah. even a change.org petition. Really? Okay. Fans are serious about this reboot. So I Well and the actresses haven't been really behind it as well. True. Yeah. Serious as they don't want it to happen. They don't want right. it to happen. They don't want okay. it at all. Like gotcha. they are and like anything to stop it. Not Molly Shannon. Shannon Doherty. She's been the nicest one about it, which is she funny. Is, but they're yeah. still yeah. both kind of they're all kind of yeah. like, mm, it's been done. Right, mm-hmm. right, right, right. We did a feminist take on it. We don't need it. So yeah. stop yeah. attacking him. It's a job, guys. Yeah. It's a job. He's yeah. just working. Like Please. I said last week, everybody got bills to pay. Yeah. Please. So yeah, that was your charm news of the week. There <laughs> you go. And that is our casting news. So now we're gonna move on to our weekly hottie of the week. And this week, uh, our hottie of the week is Well, actually we have two. We do have two. Yeah. So I will tell you about the first one. It is Miss Tracy Ellis Ross. You might know her as Rainbow on Blackish, but she was also Joan Clayton on Girlfriends for eight Mm -hmm. eight years. That's a good show. Which is also on CWC. Look at that picture. Wow. She's serving her mother's hair. This picture picture is from her cover of W Magazine. Okay. And as Rob pointed out, she's got her mother's hair. Her mother is Diana Ross, known for her very big, Mm -hmm. very flouncy hair but in 2017 last year actually she won the golden globe for best performance by an actress in a television series music or comedy and her instagram is cool and she has an alter ego named t murder t murder i gotta get that right (laughs) where she like tries to rap along to the fastest songs and Right. It's, it's I hilarious. Her. I love her. Look at those Michelle her. Obama arms. I know. Like, she's damn, very, she's, she's cut. beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I love that picture. Speaking of beautiful, we have another hottie of the week. Let's see mm-hmm. that picture. Oh, oh, who's that? oh, man. Who's that guy? Who's that guy, Robert Palmer Walken? Oh, he needs to button up his shirt. Though. I mean, <laughs> did are you? Why is he always naked? I'd yeah. always why? naked. I mean, did you? Do you have to wax everything? It's so smooth. Well, it's I so gotta smooth. be honest. I don't grow a lot of body hair. Oh, I, I really, hate you. I really uh-huh. don't. Oh, that's I, why I, I can only do I, drag like once a year. There's so bad. much that goes into it. I wish I could grow. I mean, I'm, my dad tells me that when he was like 32, 33, he started to get like a full beard. Mm-hmm. So I'm, there's hope because I just turned 30. So I'm oh, hoping. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, thank you. 
I'm hoping like in the next year or two I can grow. But you know, it's kind of nice not having a bunch of back hair mm -hmm. and like, yeah. you know, but no, I'm pretty smooth. I grow a couple little like random pubic hairs around my no. chest and I gotta just, you know, get just rid of gotta, them. Just gotta, yeah. What's your, yeah. what's your method? Are you a waxer or are you a plucker? I know, I just, the, the couple You have literally just, that few. Well, you, you it's just... so few that it's like, I've tried to grow it in before mm -hmm. and it just looks like I'm trying. <laughs> Oh. To grow it in, <laughs> so I shape. I just shape oh, it okay, off. Okay. But um, yeah, I don't. I don't. Maybe I'm part like Indian or something. I, that'd be deceiving because I'm pretty white. A lot of Native Americans. Dude, American I'm actually like an no Native hair. American. I think and I'm, I'm super white and blonde. Maybe that's yeah. 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 But I, I tan well, so yeah. maybe you know. You do probably. Oh, wow. I do. Yeah. It's, it's weird. You wouldn't think so. I burn at first, and then I turn a little brown. Now you're a Southern boy, right? I am a Southern. You're, boy. That's why we like him, ladies <laughs> and gents. That's why you're from North Carolina, right? Yes. Yeah. So do you uh, do you miss the food back home? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I go home, I go right to Bojangles. You guys ever been to Bojangles? Yeah. You know, I was in the yeah. airport and so I'd never, in my, I said, oh, I'm in the North Carolina airport. It's pretty, my friend texted me and he said, go to Bojangles right now. And I said, what? And he said, just go. <laughs> People don't it understand. Was great. It's so, probably so bad for you, but it's oh, absolutely. delicious. The sweet tea, the chicken, the biscuits, the yeah. biscuits and gravy, all the sauces. I get all the sauces, line them up, you know? Oh, yeah. It's great. It's but great, you great. can't get sweet tea like that out here. No, you can't. Like, if that's no. one thing I could bring back, from the East Coast, because yeah. I'm from Virginia, or what nor part? Northern Virginia. I'm from, I, well, I grew up in, okay, so I'm from North Carolina, and then I lived in Virginia all throughout high school. Winston-Salem, right? Hmm. Winston-Salem, yeah, well, yeah. Salisbury, then Winston-Salem, okay. now Raleigh, but I lived in Richmond, Virginia for years. Oh, okay. So uh, I went to Christopher Newport University. I have a couple, couple of friends who went there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Very That's cool. Nice. What part of Virginia are you from? Alexandria. Okay, nice. So like right outside of DC. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's yeah. yeah. Boy yeah. From. yeah. I know. But I'm, us. but I'm saying like the sweet tea. I and, and the sweet tea that I'm used to is probably yeah. not even the sweet tea. I mean, they that just, you're used to. Uh, they just dump a bucket dump of sugar it. in it. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, the best way to do it. But it's delicious. I used to work there, and you would literally put as much sugar as you would tea. Really? She's from Texas. I'm from Oklahoma, Texas. So. I would it's cut a, a bitch for some good Friday. I mean, maybe pizza. Chick Fil A, yeah. maybe. Oh, Chick Fil A is yeah. good. I maybe. love. No, I love Chick Fil A. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's maybe not, not the their same. political stances, but their food I, I is bomb. Yeah, I haven't had them in five years. I wish like every fast food place said they hated gay people, and I would not be able to. I would get I would lose <laughs> so much weight. Well, the the so Hollywood much weight. Chick Fil A is very inclusive, and uh, I'm they a regular are. there. I mean. Well, you know, it was, and I don't know if this is true or not, no. but I want to believe it's true just because it cracked you know, me that's up. That's not a fact. Sorry, that's my own personal opinion. That is not the opinion of After Buzz TV yeah. and Chick Fil A. Sorry, go ahead. I heard that during the protest with Chick Fil A, which, uh -huh. yeah, I don't. I'm not saying my opinion all. all you don't work here. You can say whatever the yeah. but, you want. But I, uh, I found it funny because I heard some people that were actually protesting it were also eating it while they were <laughs> protesting. <laughs> it's like that doesn't. Hey, work you up. can't lie. The food yeah. is good. Yeah. The food is good. That chicken biscuit. Oh my Ooh, God! When I worked at the Clinique counter at Quell Springs Mall, I'd get that every morning shift <laughs> I had to do. So good. I I finally moved across the hill out of Hollywood into Studio City, but I still drive over and get that Chick Fil A. Oh, it's a good one. Now cut that back is a, a good little one. bit. That is a good one. Now let's talk a little bit about because obviously you're not going to be eating a lot of fattening Southern food because you are Cupid <sighs> and know. Cupid's match the title role. Yeah, mm -hmm. this yeah. is a lot of pressure. Now we're going to talk about the show, but we have a little uh, trailer that we're going to watch real All quick. Right. Cupid. <laughs> Cupid Bellator. <laughs> Do you believe in fate? <laughs> oh, do we believe in fate? Yeah. Oh, that's your sexy Cupid voice. Do you believe in fate? Oh, I like it. So tell everybody a little. So obviously you play Cupid. So tell everybody a little bit about what this show's about. So this is a really, really popular book series that was online on the um, online platform Wattpad. And it's got about 36 million readers. So oh my God. it's got a huge, huge fan base, which is awesome. Um, a girl named Lauren, she's the, she's the author of it. She's a, a, a British author, and she, she's got three of the books out right now. And it's just, it, it blew up, you know. It's, and it definitely fits into the CW kind of genre with the, you know. It's kind of like Riverdale meets yeah. um, Twilight. Or Twilight. Yeah, like, yeah. I was going to say like Vampire it, Diaries, yeah, like, yeah. But it's got that Riverdale vibe right, to it. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, and the music in it's really, I mean, I just think the whole 
production behind it, I was very, very impressed. Because mm -hmm. um, it, it could easily be done wrong, you mm -hmm. know, and come off a little cheesy. Um, but it, it's definitely the product, you know, KR Squared Productions, they're a mother-daughter team, uh, my good friends. They, uh, I actually did a movie with them five years ago, Back to Awesome, which is also one of my first oh, credits nice. on my IMDb. Mm -hmm. Uh, I did a movie with them, and I was a supporting character. But I, you know, kept in touch with them. They're, they've been working their way up and doing a ton of, different and they remembered me. And um, you know, they reached out to me and said, "Hey, we've got this part, and we got chosen." Okay, so let me go. I'm getting jumping all over the place, mm -hmm. but okay. So Wattpad is the online uh, platform that this book series was released on. Okay, did really really well. Um, Tongle um, teamed up with Wattpad and the CW and wanted to bring this thing to life and make a series out of it. So they decided to release it on the CW Seed and to get traction going and publicity and include other you know, filmmakers and, and smaller production teams, they decided to basically have a contest and allow um, smaller production teams to pitch and submit a teaser trailer for this project. And uh, kind of with their idea as to what they would do if they were to make the series, you know? Mm -hmm. so, KR Squared Productions, um, Kate and Katie Ramy, they submitted their idea, which was an awesome little teaser they put together, casted it, you know, produced it, got the music done for it, everything, and they got chosen. They mm -hmm. won. They won the contest. So they were chosen to basically produce the pilot episode. It was the best one. I and, uh, <laughs> did you watch? Did you watch did, some yeah. of the others? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they were. All, I was impressed by a lot of them. They were great. But yeah, I mean, I'm, obviously, I'm glad that my friends won <laughs> because yeah. Yeah. I got a job out of it. <laughs> yeah, you got a job. Uh, yeah. But so they won, and um, yeah, I mean, we we've been slated. You know, we were obviously greenlit for the first episode, mm -hmm. um, and it aired yesterday, Valentine's Day. So if you haven't did. watched it, go check it out. CWC app. You can download it for free or go to cwc.com and watch it. Yeah. Um, and it's like, the first episode's like seven minutes or eight minutes. It's not yeah. super... Right. You don't have to invest a lot. Right. It's it's short. It's short. And, um, you know, I think CWC is... is most of their shows... Everything they, is, yeah, it's, it's all, yeah. Their original content's mm -hmm. usually short, yeah. unless they're doing reruns, which they air on there as well. Yeah. Right? Um, so it, the response has been really great, and... We're excited about it. I mean, yeah, we obviously the hope is to get lit, you know, the whole season to be. So the first episode's been greenlit, and so we're still waiting for. Yes. Yeah, so the basically, rest. based off the response. Oh, y'all go watch yeah. this because it's a cliffhanger, and I need to know what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need this show to happen. So based off the response and the reaction um, and the popularity of kind of you know everybody. Also, we have a huge international fan base. So it's going to air internationally, I think, in a week or so. Ooh. So that's going to play, you know, that's a huge part as to whether they're going to yeah. fund the whole season. That's but it. You want to be famous say, in Japan. So, so that way you can have your life here. Yes. Yes. I mean, come on. Tell so, everyone. China's the biggest market, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, I, I think that was 60% of the, like I said, 36 mm. million viewers. I think a lot of, mm. big portion of that was over there. So... We're excited to see what the response is from them as well. Um, but so far, the response here, you know, domestically has been amazing, and we have high hopes that we're going to do a whole season and multiple seasons. And the you know, she's got three books, so yeah, there's, oh, there's, there's, there's a material. lot of story yeah. to tell. Um, and now Cupid's a bad boy. Let's talk about Cupid a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because you think like when I thought of Cupid, I thought of like some fat little baby in a diaper. <laughs> So I was disappointed when you weren't in a diaper. Everybody has said it. Every, when I said I was playing Cupid, that's the main joke everybody has said is, oh, you're going to be wearing a diaper with a bow and arrow? I, I mean, like, yeah. you should get Not an Instagram exactly. pic of that. I mean, just have a friend well, take it. Well, I did an yeah. Instagram pic holding a heart chocolate candy box. Is that not enough for you? <laughs> yeah, Matt, you it's did. over his junk. What do you want, man? You did do yeah. that. That's true. What do you true. want? That's true. It's I'm true. thinking Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Halloween. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's not okay, a bad idea. Maybe Halloween. Hey, listen, you hear it from me right now. If the show does well and you all go watch it and we get a whole season picked up or multiple seasons, this Halloween I will be Cupid, but old school Cupid, in a diaper with a bow and arrow, and I will post about it. And you you're it. welcome. Yeah. So <laughs> go watch it. it. But if you don't, then I'm not doing it. No, he's not doing it. But Cupid's a bad boy. He's not. He's not, a bad boy. He's a bad boy, yeah. Well, I mean, he's a, he's a deep down, he's got the right intentions. He's a, he's... He wants what's best, but yes, he, I mean, he's, you know, he's been around for thousands of years, so the, the typical things that get to, you know, the everyday, ordinary people don't get to him, and he kind of just is, enjoy, you know, he gets to do whatever he wants, because he's like, well, I'm living forever, so whatever. Um, but he's a god. Yeah, he's yeah. a god. He's mm -hmm. a god. And uh, his brother, Cal, is a little more... You know the parental type, a little more like Cupid. We got to keep you in line. We got to keep you in check. Is that the redheaded? 
the redhead guy. Yeah. He's cute, too. Yeah. He's cute, too. So, yeah. So, it's, it's cool, the dynamic between the two. And it's really fun to play a character that is a little more edgy and a little more um, not so concerned about people's feelings. I, you know, obviously, I played Dylan on General Hospital. I was going to ask And I love, yeah. I love that character. It's, Dylan's very similar to me in a lot of ways. But he's always so concerned with other people's, you know, best interest. And I think Cupid, it's fun to play Cupid because he's kind of just a little more of a rebel, you know? Mm. So it's What nice. do you think is going to have crazier storylines? General Hospital, Cupid's Match? Well, mm -hmm. General Hospital right now, I think, is having some You're really, on break from right. Mm. You're, you're, on, yeah, you're right, off the show, Yeah, right? off the show as of right now. Um, but, but the storylines I hear are really, really good. They got, you know, uh, Steve Burton is back right now, and there's some really cool storylines. But, yeah. Um, what's gonna have crazier storylines? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say Cupid's match for right now. <laughs> I think I mean, you're a god. I, I mean, gotta yeah. hype up Cupid. Yeah, I yeah. gotta hype up Cupid's I match. I think Cupid's god anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Or Cupid's match. Yeah, I think because he is a god. I keep saying the show wrong. Robert Palmer Watkins is so handsome. Y'all, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I'm trying to focus. Now, I saw on your IMDb and uh, that. So, are you a mus musician as well? Because we were in. Um, to, there are some things not to give away the trivia, but there are. You were in some quote unquote musicals. So, yeah. like, so talk a little bit about your musical background. Okay. Uh, I yeah, I did my first music. I, okay, so I was always the kid that my parents were like, you can't sing. Like, I have a little <laughs> sister that is really musically gifted, and she doesn't even care about music. I mean, she likes music. She's a dancer and all that, but she wasn't trying to pursue it or anything. Mm -hmm. But she was just really, you know, those, pe those people that can just naturally sing really well. And mm -hmm. I always wanted to be able to just do that type of stuff because I'm an entertainer and that's mm -hmm. just in my blood. So the fact that she could perform and sing in front of the family gatherings or whatever and I couldn't pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be the guy like, okay, well, if I can't actually sing, I'm going to send you out there. You're going to sing. I'm going to close the cl closet. I'm going to open both closet doors behind you, shut them so that there's a backdrop. And I'm going to be behind there doing backups with the microphone, even though I can't <laughs> sing. But I want to be a part of this. You know what I mean? Uh, so I would send her out there and make her put on a show. But then later on in life, I think I, I loved music so much that in high school, my English teacher finally convinced me to try out for the musical because she was like, Rob, you've got so much energy. You're the class clown. You want to be, like, clearly you, you need to put your energy somewhere. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, I mean, I grew up doing sports and stuff like that, but it was never my thing. I was always definitely more creative and artistic. And mm -hmm. um, so my, my teacher convinced me to try out for the play. And I was like, I don't know. I did it. I tried out. Loved it. Best decision of my life. Had a blast. Met all of my types of people, just weirdos and fun, weird, creative people, you know, um, that didn't fit in necessarily, but fit in perfectly in that, that group. Mm -hmm. um, so I did that, and it was, it was amazing, and I never looked back. So from then on, I, you know, it, I booked, uh, the next year I got the lead in the musical. So oh, wow. I had to learn how to sing, basically. Mm -hmm. Even though I couldn't really sing, I, I learned how to what sing musical? quickly. The first one that I had a big part in was South Pacific. I played okay. Emile de Beck. So he was yeah. a much mm -hmm. older character. That's the song. Enchanted evening. Song Enchanted. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, he, so yeah, you know in high school you're playing a 40 year old when you're 15. But yeah. that's mm -hmm. how it goes. Yeah. So I did, that was my yeah. first kind of introduction to musical. And then once I did that, the chorus teacher in high school, you know, of course she's looking for any guy she can to suck in to <laughs> sing. And she, ooh, also one of the best decisions. Really fun experience. Got me outside of my, you know, comfort, comfort zone, zone and just performing in front of people, learning about my voice and how to sing. So yeah, to answer your question, that's kind of how I started music. Acting's always been my main thing, but it, mm -hmm. music's a huge part of my life. And now that I've got this acting kind of, I don't know, fan base or platform, being able to bring music back into showing people like, look, this is also something that I love, mm -hmm. has been really cool. Cause um, yeah, it's just been fun. I got to do a little singing on General Hospital. and. Yeah. Nurses some, ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. So hopefully there'll be more of that in the future. I'd love to do, you know, I don't know. We'll maybe, see what happens. Maybe Cupid. I was gonna say yeah. maybe, maybe Cupid, Cupid sings. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Mm. So you playing a heart. <laughs> playing a heart. I gotta play a heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Singing a love song. Hello. I was gonna say, you could turn the bow into a harp. Ah. Just add a few more strings. Okay, there you go. I like this. We gotta... I know, and you sang Buble for us for on the GH oh my report. Gosh, that's right. Yeah, I was like, and it was my favorite song. That huh? was the yeah. first time I came on, right? Yeah. I think I've been on here three. This is my third time. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. After Buzz alone. Was but this is my <laughs> yeah. hey, But this is my yeah. first time on the CW, CW after Weekly, Buzz. Yeah. It's true. So it's true. Thank you for having me, guys. No, yeah, no of problem. Course. Thank no you problem. for being here. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go back to Cupid's match for a second, just because when watching that trailer and watching the episode walking through that hallway and like 
basically making people make out. Yeah. <laughs> was that weird? Especially if you had to do multiple takes. Mm-hmm. You of know it. what's weird is is that it wasn't weird. Like <laughs> because I've been doing this this weird acting thing for so long, and you guys get this because you're all in the entertainment world. You're you're put in these weird situations so mm-hmm. often where they're like, okay, now you're gonna make out with this person. Go, mm-hmm. action, and you're like, okay, well, okay. I don't. I'm Rob, by the way. Okay, <laughs> tongue me. You're like, what? <laughs> I mean, I've ha- I've gone into auditions where I've you know had to rip off my shirt right away or make out with somebody that I don't know at all, you know, and I'm worried about did I does my breath smell right now? I mean, there's so many weird things I've had to do in Hollywood over the Ooh. past ten years. So no, I think I'm at a point, which is a good thing, I think, mm-hmm. because now I'm, I'm I'm a little more out of my head and just am able to just commit to the character. So no, I, it was actually a lot of fun. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a cool, cool role to play, to have that much power. I mean, I literally walk through the hallway and do a little flick of my hand, you know, Oof. and two people start making out or start fighting. I mean, it's just a cool character to, to play. So it wasn't weird, no. And that's the interesting part about Cupid, is that you control both. Yeah. You can control both sides of it. Right, right, right. The together and the apart of it. Making people come together or, you know, completely breaking up a couple. Yeah, and you see that in that one scene. Mm-hmm. You gotta watch the show, but in the one scene you see me kind of bring people together in love and then cause some chaos in the other mm-hmm. corner. And mm-hmm. yeah, he's just kinda messing with people. He's so. just a trickster. He's but a I would imagine movie. like because it is about love, maybe not, but did, does Cupid have a conscience? Yes, I think so. I think I think ultimately um, he is a better, and that's why I really want this show to keep going because I think that people are going to fall in love with with what's underneath, kind of the surface of his character. I mean, in the first episode, you see a glimpse of Cupid, and he kind of just looks like an asshole. You know, he's mm-hmm. walking through the hallway, messing with people. He comes in and kind of just like creepily hits on the girl and you know whatever I mean it's it's like charming and 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 sexy or whatever but it's there's so much underneath that um and I think the the books show that and the dynamic between him and Cal his brother um he ultimately I, he's not a bad guy but he's definitely um a troublemaker he's similar to Fox's Lucifer where at first you think Satan oh that's right. bad but you know he's actually kind of you know a nice or, guy yeah. or um yeah. From Vampire Diaries, Ian Summer. Yeah, Summer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's like yeah. the guy that you're like, oh, God, I love then, yeah. yeah, he's like that character. You're kind of like, oh man, yeah. And how guy. do you feel playing someone who can obviously pass as a teenager? Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> I did notice yeah. that this was a little like 90210-ish on the yeah. teenager. Like yeah. everyone was, and the teacher was basically the same age. Yeah. Right. Right, yeah. right. Right. He was really cute too. But like, I was like, oh, liars. he's like, anyway, yeah. go ahead. No, I mean, I agree. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I'm not making fun of it. Obviously, you have a good skincare routine. Yeah, you do. do. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to stay looking as young as I can, guys. Cause, uh, <laughs> no, um, you know, it's, it's, it is a little strange. It's strange, but, uh, you know, again. But you're also a god, so it's like, that's you're the thing. different. Sense, yeah. there's, there's some leeway. Like, your outside changes. Right. If I was literally playing one of the high schoolers, I think I'd be like, I don't know, but because you know, it's kind of like Vampire or um, Twilight. You know, uh, those mm-hmm. those actor, the uh, Edward, uh, what's his name, Robert um, Pattinson. Robert yeah. Pattinson yeah. yeah, he was, I think, in his late twenties or whatever playing. But it's he's a vampire. His, yeah. He's timeless. You know, yeah. so there is a little more flexibility. I'm not necessarily a high schooler in Cupid's match. I am Cupid going to high school mm-hmm. to find Lila. So she, they are high schoolers, so hopefully they look like they're high schoolers because they're supposed to be high schoolers. But yeah. myself and Cal, my brother, the redhead guy, um, uh, uh, Dane, he's awesome. He's a Dang, great yeah. guy. Yeah, sorry. I shouldn't just call him No, that's redhead. me. I'm yeah. the one that said the redhead guy. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. He's like the before. He's like the after if I worked out. <laughs> Dane, we got to get you. Come on. You guys got to yeah. do workout Yeah, I'm going to get the show picked up, and he and I will do a ginger special. There we go. We'll, do a work, yeah. we'll have a workout video, ginger special. That's great. Yeah, I'll throw we it out, but we'll do it. We could pitch this. We yeah. I'm telling you. This is a great idea. We could pitch this. But, um, yeah, no, I think I think with you know certain characters on this show, it's okay for... The actors playing the roles, and for the for the roles themselves, for the characters to be a little bit older, because mm-hmm. we're coming there with a purpose. You know, we're we're um, we are entering this high school for 
a reason. I'm going there to find somebody, and you know. So, yeah, I think it works for this. But if if I was just playing a regular high schooler, I think I'd be like, eh, I might be a little old. I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. I appreciate it. I'm trying to stay looking young. It's Hollywood. Hey, but, you look good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I yeah. wanted to say that in the chat, we have a live chat going on right now. Okay. Um, Ivan, one of our regulars, he I've said, loving... you sound way too cool for it to just be on the CWC app. You should actually be on the CW. <laughs> Thank you. That was really nice, yeah, that was, Ivan. So that's a, that's he wanted sweet. to compliment Thank you on you. that. Thank you. I think CW is actually smart in doing this, though, because, I mean, I think in like, you know, um, I just think that this is where TV is going. Yeah. It's all going to streaming stuff. So who knows if there's even going to be a CW in 10 well, years. It might be the CD, CW app. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, I think cable as we know it is, and within the next 10 years, I don't think it's, we were talking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. I was talking with Lucretia. We were saying, I don't think there's going to be cable, you know, no. as, as we know it today. I think it's going to be, you pay for what services you want. Okay, I want ABC and this channel and this, you know, or whatever. It's all going to be Hulu, Netflix. So I think for the CW to have a streaming platform like this is really, really smart, and for them to be really trying to grow original content mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is great. So I'm, you know, who knows where this show could go? But I think that ultimately it, it might be in a better place than it than it could end up being even on you know the regular CW channel. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, I think when I first watched it, I watched it, and went, okay, I'm not mad at it, and then I thought about <laughs> it more because it's it's kind of interesting because there's so much supernatural stuff going on with like vampires and witches mm -hmm. and it, that I kind of think except for like maybe Percy Jackson's but that's definitely aimed at a younger audience yeah. there's not a lot of talk as somebody who's a Wonder Woman fan a huge Wonder Woman fan and I love the whole universe of gods and mortals and how do like gods you yeah. know with this wrestle with this power but you know so I don't think that's been done a lot right. that I've seen a lot um so and it's in like a in a CW type of like right. format way for like a little bit younger slash older audience so yeah, there, I'm excited for it yeah and there was a Cupid on Arrow but that's a female character mm. who actually is just really in love with Oliver and like so that's really interesting that it's like they're like no let's do the real Cupid yeah, and, yeah. yeah. I think you know, it's cool I, I mean I think yeah. things kind of come in phases right we yeah. had a huge vampire fan. Yeah. I yeah. mean that lasted a long time lasted a, a little long, too long and, right right <laughs> we loved it but it's like all right let's it's move. winding down now it's, it's, winding. Winding it's wrapping down. up then we had this kind of the zombie thing which mm -hmm. was great you know we still got walking dead and all that um so i don't know i'm kind of wondering like mm -hmm. could cupids be a be a genre it's thing? either going to be cupids or gingers yeah. that's going to be the it's new maybe, thing. hey it might yeah. be cupids both or gingers who kill that's yeah. what <laughs> And see, some of us have never given up on vampires. Yeah, that's true. There you yeah. go. There you go. There. I'm still mad at True Blood because that show was so terrible at the last season. It really Sorry. was, but then he got naked, so that Don't was fun. Started. How many seasons was that? Was that seven seasons? I think yeah, it's I think, one of those yeah. shows. The last season was so bad. And that now, when people ask me, should I watch that show? I'm saying I say no oh. because it was so bad. And this is like. A lot of naked hot guys, and I still, yeah. I'm still real gay, <laughs> and I still say don't watch it. Really? That's, yeah, yeah so you know it can't be good. Yeah. If you're saying that, yeah, if yeah. I'm saying that, it's not good. <laughs> As I say, good. like, you know, True Blood, you know, it wasn't like it was that great. They were just that pretty. <laughs> yeah. True Blood. But, okay, so, as we said, Cupid's Match on CW Seed aired last night, Valentine's Day, appropriately. And so, Sugars, this is just up to you to watch this, to share this on your social media, um, be sure we've already said once but where what's your handle again your Instagram my Instagram handle is Robert Palmer Watkins my Twitter handle is Robert you did you opened up a can of worms I'm about to do go it, off. Let it. Go we're gonna do it again at the end of the show but do it again so it's oh oh, oh okay yeah, uh, yeah. Instagram Robert Palmer Watkins Twitter Robert P Watkins Facebook fan page is Robert Palmer Watkins you have a fan page wow mm. that's fancy I mean duh, I, mean, duh. He's, yeah. I know but I mean I haven't been around a lot of famous people so I'm still getting <laughs> well, it. well Facebook yeah. is like the first place people had that type of stuff yeah. it's true the Facebook well because Facebook is so annoying in the way that they you can only have a certain amount of friends on your personal page right yeah so you have oh, to yeah. create a yeah they buy it so yeah. what is that sounds like a real problem to have <laughs> yeah real problem. Have so, many so, many so do you interact are you are you able to have time to interact with your fans I or do. like so what's like the weird either a question or request because especially soap opera fans are legit <laughs> yeah legit what's the weirdest request <sighs> or question oh, you've man. received I don't and I don't want to call you out right now but I'm gonna do it <laughs> there is mm. one fan that constantly wants me to change my haircut always <laughs> and wow. regardless of whether I have my hair long or short they're always 
chiming in about what I should do with my hair. And it's just, it's not a, it's not creepy or weird. It's not like a, I'm offended type of request. It's just. Like, let it go? Yeah. <laughs> like, go. why is this, why or, are you still on this subject kind of thing? Or they're really smart because you remember them. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at it from a different side. Look They're out it. there right now, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, yeah. you're welcome. I love, I love the more red wine you drink, your accents coming out. Yeah. It's from me and Lucretia, your southern. My teeth are turning even your more red. coming out. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, okay, let's jump into a little bit of news. Sorry, okay, go one ahead. more question because we have this question in the chat. Do you know if if it's picked up for a season, if the episodes will be longer than eight minutes or? That's what we're hoping. Okay. So I just talked to uh, KR Squared Productions before I got here to make sure I was pronouncing everything right and had mm -hmm. a, you know everything I was supposed to say. And they said that the, one of the biggest comments um, and, and some of the biggest feedback we've gotten so far is that people are saying, we want more, we mm -hmm. want more, they're mm -hmm. too short. So that's a good sign. I'm hoping that the CW and Wattpad and Tongle see that and they go, okay, well, if we're gonna fund this season, just make them longer, right? Yeah. So, because I yeah. agree, it was too short. It was, was. It was enough to wet the whistle. It wet was, your whistle. It was, it was wet. like yeah, it's like a long teaser, but yeah. It was wet and something. But, you know, <laughs> but not. You enough. heard that here first. <laughs> I'm sure that it's not the first time Rob said that. Uh, <laughs> and y'all know I'm powerful with the CW because I made Constantine come back in some capacity, guys. So well, come don't on, worry. Lucretia. I'm Lucretia. Work Lucretia. Work yeah. Yeah. Lucretia is a witch, y'all. Yep. She has powers. <laughs> yeah. Lucretia the witch. That's a series right that there. I know. Series. I did used to dabble in Wiccan when I was a kid. Um, I was a big Buffy fan. I was like, is this real? I would buy books at Hastings and try it. I'm pretty sure I burned down Mazios when I was oh, a kid. Oh, you probably oh. had one of those. Uh, Mazios. Yeah, what so are the good. boards? What are the um, Ouija board? Ouija board. Yep, I had a glow in the dark one. Those scare me though. Those scare That's me a real little deal. bit. You get a little freaked out. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I've played with one a couple times, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I grew up Catholic, so that you know. <laughs> well, I all, me too. Yeah. I grew up with that yeah. too. So. You get weird guilt stuff. You get weird like, guilt and then yeah. southern guilt on top of it. Oh, and then southern too. And we had an Irish priest, so he would really be oh, like, "Yo, God. you're playing that. Oh, and it, you're gonna die. You're going right to hell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah." Yeah, I just, yeah, Scary. anyway. Lucretia, please don't. Stop. <laughs> please don't. Yeah, I'll use my powers for good, and that's what I'm trying. Yeah. So we're going to jump into some news. Um, if Erica, Miss Erica Baby's watching the chat, so if y'all have any questions for Rob, shout them out, and she'll be looking, and then we'll come circle back to it at the end of the show. So let's talk, uh, Erica, speaking of Erica, let's talk about some Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. So Crazy Ex-Girlfriend is actually going on the road. They're oh, doing oh. an eight-city tour starting March 31st. I believe. I love that poster. Um, and the confirmed uh -huh. participants are Rachel Bloom, Vincent Rodriguez III, which who we talked about last yep. week. Yep, Hottie of the Week. Scott Michael Foster, Pete Gardner, Aline Brosh McKenna, Adam Schlesinger, and Jack Dolgen. So the good job on those names. Yeah. You're a you're a fan of the show. Yeah, right? I actually really like this show. I mean, I didn't know Brianna Phoebes, who works here, and told me it was a musical show, and I was like, really? Now that makes me want to watch it, and it's really a fun show. I haven't been able to catch up on this season because there's too many superhero shows, but yeah, as soon as it drops on Netflix, I'm going to watch it, and then I'll probably try to get a ticket to this live show. It's fun. Rachel is too. so talented. She yeah. is. Rachel Bloom's kind yeah. of ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So a little background about the songs. There's a hundred of them. There's been a hundred songs on the show thus far. Wow. And so you'll get in these shows, you'll get to see them performed live. That's cool. So yeah. it's cool. It's That's cool. it's uh, like I mentioned, it's eight stops, um, cities like Boston, Washington D.C., New York, Los Angeles. And if you want to see the cities with their dates and your their tickets, you can go on racheldoesstuff.com. Not the name drop, but I've seen Rachel Bloom perform mm -hmm. live, and she's pretty great. That's not really. A name it's not really a name drop. drop I tried. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Arrow's Legion. Yeah, this is funny because I actually have joked about this on the Legends of Tomorrow after show several times. Last season, the Legion of Doom was part of it, and it was my my personal fave, other than Constantine, Malcolm Merlin. I ship them because um, Constantine is by guys. But and then we've got Damian Dark, who's always fun because Neil McDonough is so hilarious. You get John Barman and Neil McDonough together, like it is comedy gold, and they were allowed to do that. And then you top it all off with Matt Lesher, who is um, Reverse Flash, as you guys know, Eobard Thawne, and. And then Captain Cold was also sort of like part of this at the end of the Legion. And I was joked about how funny these guys are. They should have their own sitcom. And apparently Matt, 
thinks they should too. He's like, you might yeah. make it happen. Which mm -hmm. Lucretia, I, there you go. I can try it. <laughs> I would love that. I would. Yeah. I, I would love them to, again. To me, I'm like that would be something that would be great on CW Seed. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like do like Tim and Ava would be great. And they've got the Constantine cartoon coming on there, and then you know a lot of these characters are magical characters like Malcolm and Damien, and then I mean. Wentworth needs to come back. I, I love you. I was going to say, that mm -hmm. would be a great reason to get him back on the it show. Would yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be great. It would be great. All right, jumping into Jane the Virgin news. So, great story on LA Times. If you just Google Jane the Virgin or Gina Rodriguez at LA Times, because it's a long link. But it's quite a long article, but it's it's really great. And what I liked about it is a lot of uh, Gina Rodriguez is talking about her first directorial debut for Jane, which aired last Friday, I believe, that yes. was her episode. She talks about when we first started Jane, I was definitely focused on just killing it as an actress. It's already so difficult as a woman of color, but especially when being the lead of the show, it's like you get a minute to be good out of the gate, mm. or a show gets canned, and that's it. And you have to be good because we just don't have many chances. So she said she was the, quote, I'm the actor that asks questions, that asks the camera operators what lens they're using, or why does that look different than the last lens, what is the reason for this and that, She's gone to editing room. She goes. She talks a lot about her process. How it just wasn't like she said, "Hey, I want to direct." It was a something she led to. So, what about you? Any directing mm -hmm. dreams, Rob? Or are you that actor? Or do I you? Would, are you just get on set and be pretty? I, no, I think that's amazing that she does that. I mean, it is incredible. I think that um, any actor, anybody in the entertainment industry, anybody at any job, the more well versed you are in what you're doing and with the people that mm -hmm. you work with, the smarter you are. I mean, for longevity. Um, I think you know that's an amazing show. I think she's great. She's great. And I think that there's way too many actors that don't take note of who the crew is and who's lighting them and who the sound person is. And that's they just, important. They take it all for granted, you yep. know. And it's it really is. It's a team effort. And I'm not saying that just to say the right thing right now. I'm saying that because I've been with I've worked on shows with actors that it's all about them and it's mm -hmm. just not a fun experience at mm -hmm. all That's um, the worst. so I think and the more you know about you know what the shot is and what your framing is and you know all of that stuff the better you're gonna be able to play within the scene too so yeah. I think it's really smart of her and clearly it worked out because they're doing very well right she's so. a smart yeah. girl she's a smart girl well, when it gets, I'm going to push because I want to get to trivia, and I know we're running out of time mm -hmm. and stuff. But real quick, CW's taking a little bit of a break, right? Yeah. So the shows that come back at the end of this month will be The Flash, which comes back on Tuesdays, Black Lightning, which is actually going on a little bit of a break. Next week, they said, is the first week that they'll actually have mm -hmm. a rerun. So if you haven't started watching it, now's your time to catch up. Mm -hmm. And then Riverdale comes back on March 7th, and Arrow comes back on March 1st. All at their regular times. And Supergirl will be April 16th. Yeah. 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 So there you go. There's uh, the little, there's a little clip. Okay, so uh, do we have time for Throwback Thursday? Or do we, what do you think? Or do we go into ship and trivia? I did want to mention the CW extending their programming to Sunday just oh, because yeah, yeah, our, yeah. one of our fans, Charmed That's Original, um, pointed it out to us. So Thank they're you. actually, for the 2018-2019 season, they're going to start including programming on Sunday. So you'll get an 8 o'clock hour and a 9 o'clock hour. I'm saying that to charm say... was Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying that to say this schedule shifting that they're doing, it's hopefully gonna if stop. there's an extra day, we might not have to worry about it anymore. Because I was not happy about it. Nope. Yeah, it's like, like it. Supergirl and Legends need to air at the same time. And no offense to Black Lightning, we want to have that in, but it's like... Can let's I ask y'all a question night. right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are y'all's favorite CW shows right now on the prime, like primetime CW yeah, Ooh. I watch uh, Supernatural religiously, and then all the DC, but Legends is my favorite, and then Arrow, I will say. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm, if you were to ask me old, like CWWB, oh. I can give you a quicker answer. Yeah. Probably, no, right now, stuff right that's now. Right now. Everyone, no. Probably, <laughs> probably The Flash. The Flash. Yeah. yeah. That, there you go, Anthony. Anthony the Booth. The Flash. Go. Yeah, The Flash I, is good. I go back and forth. I mean, I really like Black Lightning. I feel like mm -hmm. it could come ahead by the end of season one. But I think it is, I think probably The Flash. Uh, I just, I love Iris West on that show. But the only thing why I want to give a hot mention to Supergirl, especially when Supergirl came to CW, Supergirl is what I want as a comic book fan, is what I wanted Superman to be in the mm. DC movies for like five years. Like yeah. hopeful, right. joyful. Uh, which they're hopefully coming back to that, but that so, but probably yeah. Flash. Okay. What about you? Well, I think Riverdale is. is yeah, Riverdale. I do is like really Riverdale. Yeah, I do like, cool. You could be on Riverdale. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that'd be <laughs> yeah, cool. Please. Yeah, please. Cool. 
Please. No, um, I mean, I, I think, honestly, like, I love all those shows y'all just said, but Cupid's Match is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, that's not fair. That's not fair. Yeah. That's yeah. on the CWC. Yeah. 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 yeah, you cheated. I know. You cheated, but you know what? You're a god, so you can't. Yeah. <laughs> so let's jump. Let's, we have a throwback Thursday, and we're going to do it next week, because I want to keep time for... Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about the winner of our ship poll. Ship poll. All right. Who is in the lead? And... Oh, shoot. Sorry. The finale is dun, 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 dun. Willow and Oz. Willow and Oz. They're going yeah. with the with the original. Wow, well, okay. with the OG. Gingers. The the gingers. I was gonna say the redheads. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 we got it. Okay. And, so, did go you ahead. know that they played a couple when they were little kids, and my stepmother is an alien too? They did. It was wow. cute. A tri- oh, that should yeah. have been our trivia question. But yeah. our trivia question wasn't about them. It was about yeah. Robert Paul Watkins. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Watkins. I always I'm screwed up now. Mm-hmm. So, how well do you know your life? Your first IMDb credit was it? Frat House Musical, mm. Virgins for Life, Executive Protection, or Gary's Guide to Getting Broken Up With? I think Frat House Musical. No! What? Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. You're so wrong. It wasn't Gary's Guide to whatever. No, that, I made that up. That's some that bullshit. Up. I made it up. The other ones were Virgins for Life or? Executive Protection. Okay, well, I w- this is not fair because if it is one of the other answers, I f- shot those after. So IMDb messed up. Oh, IMDb Whoa. messed up. I'll give you a hint. Your character's name was Chartreuse Mario Lopez. Oh, uh, executive protection. Executive. Look at that poster. That is some. Yeah. Wow. That is some classy. Wow. Yeah. Chartreuse Mario Lopez. Who is like my that. first I got it. credit That's, right now? On yeah. IMDb. Who is Chartreuse Mario Lopez? Chartreuse Mar- Mario Lopez is the. Um, <laughs> Do you even remember? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so like it. It's just typical. Uh, I play the the pool boy. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. We're renting this movie. Okay. Okay. I play the pool boy, and I'm I just wear a speedo. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got a Netflix. But it's on Netflix. No, that was. A, I mean, it was a actually that was a funny funny project that was very well done it was really really funny i just i'm just surprised the reason i'm laughing so hard is because i'm surprised that's listed as my first credit because frat house music well first of all i've done a bunch of you never know also what's going to be put on imdb like you, you do so yeah. much stuff that doesn't even ever get released yeah. or whatever mm-hmm. but okay so frat house music was it was before this though but yeah this was a funny pilot that i did but i was a very small part and i played the pool boy well maybe, yeah. maybe not too yeah. small if you were wearing a speedo Wow. Let's hope, let's hope so, huh? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Make a yeah. dick joke. All right, everybody. I just got fired. You had to throw in one dick joke, right? <laughs> what were you going to say, Erica? I was just going to see if we had an opportunity for just a few more yeah. questions yeah, 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 from yeah. the chat. Um, so one Don't thing people Anthony. are wanting to know is like what you're watching now. You kind of let on a little bit, but outside of the CW, is there anything that you're like binging or? Um, yes, I. I mean, TV is amazing right now. Yeah, it is. It's insane. It's people are like, so what do you want to do eventually? Do you want to be like a movie star? Do you want to do movies? I mean, yeah, movies are great, but honestly. TV is where it's at. Right so good, now. right? Yeah, now. it's an amazing. Actor. It's amazing. Um, I, I just started watching The Shy, okay, which is really yeah. cool. I don't know if you guys have checked mm. that out. It's on Showtime, yeah. I think. It's on my list. It's amazing. Oh, it's, oh, 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 yeah. I'm, I haven't seen it, but I want. I'm to. four episodes in, and it's it's awesome. Uh, love that show. I love Game of Thrones, yeah. obviously. Um, uh, what else? Riverdale is amazing. It is so good. Uh, I loved Breaking Bad, Sons of Anarchy. Hey, um, those are the yes. best. Yeah. yeah, I've got some on my list that I really want to check out that people are telling me like, dude, you got to watch like uh, Black Mirror. I've heard of um, I've heard is great. No. Um, God, I mean, there, I could go on and on. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can't even keep up with it's, Netflix. Right. Yeah, there's yeah. too many shows. There's so, uh, Ozark yeah. is supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, Ozark's yeah great. I saw the Do first you, episode. It have was you really watched good. that? Yeah. I haven't. I want to watch that. Shit's Creek. Our Shit's Creek is Shit's Creek is amazing. It's just, I, I literally every week there's a new there is huge a new show. poster on Sunset Boulevard, and I'm like, what is that? Yeah. I don't know. So obviously we keep on, we have more questions. Yeah, a Charmed Original questions. wants you to be on Riverdale as Kevin's new boyfriend. How would you feel about that? Oh my that? God, that's yeah. what I thought in my head. Yeah. Kevin Keller needs a new boyfriend. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, sounds like a good role. Yeah. Why not? I'm just trying to have a career. So. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I'll play a boyfriend. River, I mean, I think Riverdale's amazing. I think it's very well written. I think it's... Uh, kind of groundbreaking for the CW, to be honest. I, I, think, think, it's, yeah. I, I think it's great. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that it would be done well. And if any role that's done well, um, you know, people even people ask me too, like, well, would you? Why would you want to play like a, you know, somebody that's so? 
care I, I want to be I wanted to be an actor because I want to play characters that are totally different from the character I played before you know what yeah. I mean I want to play diver, a diverse range of characters so I want to play everything I want to play people like myself I want to play people completely opposite from me I want to play criminals I want to play nice guys bad guys so yeah I mean I think that's what's exciting about being an actor so how would I feel about playing the boyfriend of Kevin yeah. I'd be all in you know mm -hmm. I think that'd be great if it was done well and written well and a you know a cool part, and even if it wasn't, I'd take it because you know I it's got it. Yeah. 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 got it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, let's do one more question. Um, Vista Trista Seven is asking if you could portray any other god besides Cupid, who would you pick Ooh, and why? Vista. Ooh, yeah. Who's that? Vista. Vista mm. Trista. Vista. Mm. Vista. I might play Vista Trista. That sounds like a god <laughs> right there. <laughs> Shit, Vista Trista. Um, another god. Ooh. In the Cupid world, or like in general? I think God, just like in general. Hercules, like Hercules, or Apollo, or um, Zeus. Who's All right, Aphrodite, who's, who's you can be a woman. Who's that? That's Ma uh, well, Mars, Mars, but it's mm. Ares. Yeah. Okay. It depends on the Greek Roman, but Ares, basically. It's a Wonder Woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I don't want to be cliche, but I, I'm still learning about all of these different characters. Yeah. Honestly, this this is it's been really cool to be in Cupid's Match because I've actually just got these a couple of books that have, it's teaching me all about Greek mythology and yeah, you know, Greek is different than Roman. I'm yeah, Roman. all these different worlds. So I guess I'll just say for now Hercules, just because I I mean I feel like it would just push me to like really get in like yeah good shape, you know. Um, and like I was do gonna a new say Hercules show. You could do yeah, yeah no. but I was like uh, Jason Sorbo. Yeah, J Kevin Jason, Sorbo. Kevin, yeah. thank you. No, I knew that was wrong when it came. That's just like a lame yeah. answer. Yeah. That's a lame answer. Hold on. Hold oh, on. Ryan Gosling, fun fact. You know yeah, what? I'd, I'd like, like to play. Yeah. I'd like to play Hades. Oh yeah, oh, there, there you go. 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 Right. Yeah. Hercules, that's, that's just lame. I mean, he's yeah. great. Don't I'm, get me wrong. I would be happy to see you play Hercules. But her, but Hercules, 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 Hercules. No, oh, but something, yeah, Hades. Something has Hades. that ever been done? There's never been a show. Yeah. Well, at least in an animated world, yeah, Hades he, is all the time. Yeah, but. Hades was played by um, he was Fish in um, Ally McBeal. He was Hades on Once Upon a Time, but uh, it was more like the Hercules sort of Hades mm, version, right, right, very right. loose. But yeah, I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Like, yeah, yeah. A show based around. I mean, I guess there's been. Has there been a show based around uh, the? The devil? I, uh, they're probably at. Well, there's Lucifer. Lucifer. Yeah. Luc oh, yeah, Lucifer. Yeah, Lucifer. yeah, of course. It's the best. <laughs> I, well, I recommend that show. Yeah, yeah, that's the one yeah. I was kind of thinking of yeah. when I asked, has there been a show? Because I knew there had, but I was hoping you guys would chime in. I'm glad yeah, you chimed we did. in. Yeah. We did. Um, we got your back. Thank you. We got your back. <laughs> um, okay, so if you have, because we could obviously, it sounds like, the, A, you're fun and you're interesting, so you can always come back. Thank Especially you. If, if the Cupid's Match comes up again, come back. Bring the redheaded guy. I will. I will. <laughs> and uh, so for, if you have any other questions, again, remind everybody, Robert, where they can find you. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Um, still check out on the CW Seed, uh, Cupid's Match. My Instagram is Robert Palmer Watkins. My Twitter is Robert P. Watkins. My Facebook fan page is Robert Palmer Watkins. My website is robertpalmerwatkins.com. I think that's all I got. My Snapchat is Rob Watkins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is coming back to the old version of Snapchat. Yeah, I what is going on with this? I don't understand Snapchat. Snapchat. I don't do it. It's too much. So I don't now know. You can, you, can, you can follow Rob again. <sighs> because people were like boycotting. I it couldn't follow my... I was stressed out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I have the glasses and I still don't know how to use it. I don't. You have the glasses? Yeah. I got them for free and I was like, okay. I saw those know. at the Grove. I was like, this I is got it because there was a Wonder Woman cool. filter and I took a picture and then that was it. <laughs> that was it. All right. And speaking of that, that this is it. That's the show. So, Erica Baby, tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me on Twitter at Miss Airy Baby. And I'm Lucretia Lyon, guys. You can always find me at L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N anywhere on the internet since there is only one. And download my podcast on iTunes or any other podcasting app. I'm trying to get them on all there. It's called Mrs. Brightside. You'll see familiar or hear familiar voices from After Buzz. Like Matt Marr will be on one there next week. Me. Yeah, and, and you're then, on my podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then also Legends of Tomorrow After Show is 8 p.m. on Tuesdays now. And Horror TV Weekly has moved to 6 p.m. on Thursdays, guys. So be sure to watch those. I'm exhausted from yeah. that. Yeah. Girl, you I'm do a lot. lot. <laughs> well, I'm not doing yeah. shit, but you can still find <laughs> me at the Matt Martin T2R. No kidding. You can, we're on break right now, but you can 
Uh, listen to my podcast, TBT Time, the Riverdale Podcaster. If you need some advice, sugar, I am a therapist. You mm-hmm. can go to DearMaddieShow.com and you can find all the stuff there. But more importantly, Cupid's Match, CWC, watch the show, share the show, talk about the show. Robert Watkins, Watkins I can't say your <laughs> name. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you guys, y'all are awesome. All right, we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye. 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 and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 